All right, so here with the Red 550. So I've got a good little informational video today for you guys, and that is how to uh, replace your damaged hull inserts for your ride plate. So unfortunately, my steering nozzle arm broke this weekend, so I had to take the ride plate off, which I knew had stripped inserts on it. So as you can see, when I pulled the ride plate out, those inserts came right out with it. These two still are in decent shape, so I'm not gonna do them quite yet. But the uh, those two did end up coming out because the, I don't know, they were just totally stripped. So, so I'm doing hull insert replacement over here. This is the new ride plate I'm gonna put on, the Sweet Jet Dynamics uh, extended ride plate, and we'll see how it goes, but We've got two of the hull inserts here. These are the two extras. And you can get these from Wacon.com. That's right there. So you get your hull inserts. And all you need is a 7 16 tap like this. And you can just get a tap set from Harbor Freight or whatever. This is actually a Craftsman tap set. But just get your 7 16 tap out and then take your hole that your hull insert got taken out of and then just tap that hole so right there being the one I, one of them I replaced and right there is the other one I replaced and then these are the two this one's actually coming out a little bit but I'm gonna try to use it for a little bit longer and so all you do is take your tap thread it into your hole until it bottoms out against the top of the hole, pull it back out, and then I just used this two-part epoxy, the uh, Loctite epoxy, quick set. So since it is quick setting, it's just, you know, the double tube, push it together and mix it up, and then it sets in like five minutes. So try to be quick or use two separate little puddles of it because it actually did start to harden up on me and so once you do that the or Watcon gives you these two uh, washer or a uh, nut and screw to put into it to actually thread the insert in and then like I said be careful because mine got stuck in there and I had to get another wrench out and hold it so I could get it out because the epoxy was drying and actually was holding this into it. So I only did two of them, but that's all you really have to do then is thread this on and thread them both into here. And then you put your 10 millimeter socket on it, thread it up into the hull. And I just put some of the two part epoxy on the threads of the insert. And then that should be good to go. And I'll do a little video later on at some point in the video, I'll show you what this ride plate looks like. I'm pretty excited about it. So, unfortunately, I put a couple e-box caps that were machined from Jetski CNC. Didn't realize I still had like oil on them, so it stained the ride plate, but you won't see it anyways. So anyways, that's the hull insert replacement. Not too difficult, but just nice to see. Go to Wattcon, it's under like body and hull or something. And then it's just the 550, 440 hull inserts. And you should be good to go. Just get some of this epoxy and your 7 16 tap, and you'll be good to go to, to put your fresh inserts in. So see you guys in the next one.